Hey y'all. I decided to make another video because screw it. That video I made was honestly crap and not really the best video I say I can make. But I decided, you know what, screw it, let me make another video. Now I feel all confident and all nervous like I did before. And I'm back again. Because this time I'm going to be telling y'all a story. This is going to be a quick story of one of my characters I worked so hard on. While I'm going to be drawing Freddy or some type of Freddy reincarnation. Toy Freddy, Phantom Freddy. Maybe fun time, Freddy. You guess what? I'm drawing him. I'll give you one hint. He's brown. <laughs> Try to figure out what Freddy that could be. Okay, but the story is this. The story about the story of my characters. He is a fish man. I decided to make a, a fish man character because not many people do things about fish man. Like, be honest, you either hear cryptic stories about Bigfoot, Loch Ness Monster, New Jersey Devil. You never hear the stories of the fish of a, like a sea monster. Unless you live in areas around the ocean, or like the, around the oceans, or somewhere out there. So I decided to make a, make a story about a fish man. But the issue about that is, this fish man needs to have a care, needs to have a reason why he's like this. A reason why he's this big why he's this top of the food chain in his area. Why people fear him. And also, what he's going to look like. He's got to look cool or something. Can't look like this big, this big, bad soup. Hang on. There we go. This big, old, bad fish man. Not get, not get that much attention. Um. So, I had to give him a town. Like a home, like my own fake town I made up. It's not really made up. I heard I heard about this from a town I, I visited before. It's called Longview. Well, actually, the name of the street I go down is called Bug Creek. But I have the town name. But I know the town name almost. I think it's called Longview. So I took the name of that and put in the sea creature title. Called the Sea Creature of Longview. Yeah, it sounds kind of stupid, you know. But what can I say? You tell me a better name then in the comments down below. Okay, but anyway, the kid, the creature, I wanted to like mix him up with a type of fish. So I mix him up with a type of stonefish. He has quills on his back. He has quills on his head. He has like a big red horn on top of his head, poisonous horn. Down, well, yes, he's dark green, light green, and lime green. His stomach is lying green. Uh, let me move on to a different marker. Oh, let me size up a bit. Lime green. Big and... He's bulky as a fish man. But originally, I took some inspiration from Luca. So, the original story was him coming out on land for the first time to explore the human world. Until he comes across a hunter that murdered his parents a long time ago. Yeah, y'all thought it would be about to be that Luca shit. No, it was not. It was going to be that... It was going to be that fish creature that gets revenge on someone that murdered his mom and dad. But anyway, he grew up... But anyway, he grew up big and strong. And finding the way, way to explore the human world up above. There, he met a couple human friends. One of them, secretly a fish creature herself... Was actually Claus. That's the fish creature's name. It's actually Claus' old time friend. And soon to be girlfriends. Yeah. I put a lot of ships in that story. Uh, you bet you read that shit. Actually the reason why I had to scratch that. Because it was slowly becoming into a whole. You know. Adventure story. It almost turned some rule 34 shit. Or Rule 43 shit, whatever you call it. And it was getting too inappropriate, and I was too far in to stop myself. So I stopped that, and I just went on to a like, more darker approach. You ever play the game Man Eater? You know, the game Man Eater, you play as this bull shark, and you get revenge on a hunter that killed your mom. You upgrade yourself to be this radioactive apex predator. Yeah, that's who I pretty much play. Pretty much took inspiration from. Yeah, I didn't bought the Luca stuff in because that's a 
child, a child show. I'll take a darker approach. It begins somewhere up in the bayou. Somewhere in the bayou and the island of Longview. Where Claus, there as a baby, as an offspring with his mom and dad. They almost look like him. I don't really gonna show a picture of you because I don't really have a picture of him just yet. But the short video I make will have them. I promise you, you'll get to see their his parents for the first time. And um, Claw and, and um, Hunters show up. Now, one of these Hunters you will see has to be important for you to remember. He has a he has a little weird he has a short cut beard. He's a, he has black hair. He was wearing all camouflage, a camouflage outfit with a gun. Pay attention to him the most. He ends up shooting his parents. Claw escapes and they go after him. Claw manages to escape and the hunters expect him to be dead because he can't feast or, or survive by his parents. But they are dead wrong. Claw grew up to be a strong fishman, having a hatred towards humans. He hid throughout the bayou in the back. But the only person I saw him was some... But the only person there that saw him was this old lady that lived in the bayou. They call her Grandma... Grandma B. She was the queen of the bayou. She ended up she ended up becoming Claw's best friend, the only human that he could trust. Probably because the old lady's eyes are so slanted she could barely see a thing. Not a joke to aging people. She literally could not even see. She literally could barely see. Okay, but anyway, Claw ended up Okay, but anyway. Claw ended up deciding, you know what, I'm gonna go find him. I'm gonna find this guy and kill my who killed my parents, and I'm gonna go get him and finish him once and for all. But the but the question is how he's gonna find him. How he's gonna get this monster. How he's gonna get the one that murdered his mom and dad years ago. How he's gonna save him. Hmm. How is he gonna do this? No one knows. But he finds a way. He goes on yes, he explores the town at night to look for to look for any evidence of this guy being around. This fishman is a diff is a the difference between this fishman and the and any and any other fishman the difference between this fishman and any other fishman is this. His brain is bigger than the average fish. He can think like a human, walk like a human, sometimes even talk like a human. But he hasn't learned that far. He walks up to something he recognizes called a television. He looks at it, sees on the news at the museum of Longview Town, well, Longview City, of his home, of his parents' bodies being displayed in the museum. He immediately recognizes it because his parents took him there a long time ago. And he jumps into the river, and with his scent, he can smell out the salt water. Cause he's in the bayou still. He can, yeah, for plot reasons, he can smell where the salt water is and go straight down that direction. He makes his way out of the bayou, heads straight into the ocean. Well, actually, what we'll call the ocean? I'll just call it the big, the deep part. Yeah, I'll call it the ocean. Heads out to the ocean, makes his way to the other island, makes his way to the mainland, and finds this big city. Almost looks like Miami at night. He calls it Longview Town. That's where the killer is hiding at. And I Claw will kill him once and for all. Hold up, actually, let me show you the picture. Here it is. I took a picture. I took an image of a big city at night. And out there, you can see the big. You see the water. Well, it looks like a big old cloud, like cloud the cloud and mist over the city. But trust me, that's that's the ocean out there. Other side out there is Longview. It looks like a place you need to take a bay to go see the other part of town. Over there is what you call Cryptid Mountain. Yeah, I kind of just made a mountain over there, put some black spray paint and a picture of a wolf, a wolf head. That will come in handy the next, that will come in handy when you see the comic. Just remember that's there. Remember about the wolf, the wolf mark right there. Down here you go farther and farther. You see, there's like the dirt volume of destroyed car. It looks like it's been there for months and years. It's been there for a year, I tell you that much. Here you see Claw. You see Claw right here. 
He's all right there. He's all there, but I'm, he's all there looking over the horizon. Pretty much in his mind, he's thinking like this. Damn, this is where he's at? It's gonna take a while for me to find him. Do I really wanna waste my time trying to find this guy? And he thinks, yeah, it's worth it for my mom and dad. And then Aspen Claw goes down to the whip, goes down to a, um, a waterfall that leads straight down into, that leads straight down to the river of the, well, actually leads straight down to the park somewhere around over there. Or at least somewhere around on the other side of that mountain. And that's where he hides out at. He goes around through the sewers to find... He goes through the sewers to... He goes through the sewers and at night, he has about 24 hours to explore around out there until the sun comes up and he has to hide. Not like the sun hurts or anything, but come on. A fish man exploring the day. You, you see a giant fish man like that in the daytime, you'll be pretty scared in your mind. But anyway, I'm not going to spoil it no more. That's like the first chapter when he explores the town. We, we, we finds the person who killed. Fuck, I can't speak. The first time you meet him, the first time it's his origin story to him exploring the bayou, having fun like I usually used to with his parents. He gets tired of that. Wants to go find the person that murders mom and dad. He makes his way down to the city and goes on the hunt. Like and subscribe and please share. This is my first time making one of these big episodes like this. Like a big old video. I want to try something different. Try making them short videos. I know they give me lots of views and subscribers. But I want to do something that's going to get me paid. You know. With ads. Not doing short videos. You don't get ads on them. I want to get paid. Come on. Give me more subscribers. I want to get paid please. I want to make my own money. Not mooch off my mom and dad. Come on now. Please. I want to get paid.